If you were to ask me what show to watch on Broadway right now, I would tell you it's Strange Loop. It is so good. So good to the point where I don't even understand how it made it to Broadway. It is the most original, most raw, most incredible thing I have ever seen in a very, very long time. And honestly, if you miss it, you might regret it. Hey, my name is Amanda and I'm really into theater. And if you are too, subscribe. It's free. A Strange Loop is about a young queer black man named Usher who works as a Broadway usher who spends his free time writing a musical about a guy writing a musical about a guy writing a musical about a guy writing a musical. At least that's what the show is about at its surface level. Really, the musical tackles homophobia, sexual desire, and the longing to be more than what you are and whether or not one could actually change. Throughout the show, we see Usher figuring out these concepts with his thoughts present on stage. His thoughts manifest as real people in his life and at times it could feel a little jarring. For example, there is a moment in the show where Usher recounts the time he spent the night with the white man and left feeling worse than when the night started. Usher and the nameless white man who isn't actually white on stage because the show features an all black cast have sex and while they're having sex, the white man repeatedly calls him the n-word. Usher later laments about wanting to be with a black man but can't because of internalized homophobia within the black community. For Usher, being with a white man is his way of getting the love that he craves, however shallow it may feel at the moment. So that's just one moment where the show is like ridiculously uncomfortable but it just gets more uncomfortable from there. After he reluctantly takes on the job of being a ghostwriter for Tyler Perry's upcoming gospel play, Usher decides to write it in a way that feels true to him. He writes a song, an upbeat gospel song, that declares that AIDS is God's punishment for the existence of gay people. The song is meant to be satire, but his mother, a really religious woman, doesn't see it that way. She takes it that Usher is finally changing and moving away from his evil ways. My mouth was on the floor the entire time because this segment was played up to AT. I'm talking gospel robes, flashing lights, harmonies. It was a lot. It was a lot. But throughout that entire bit, we could feel Usher's pain. He longs for his family to understand him, but knows that they won't no matter what he does. The gospel play is just his way of trying to convince his family that their religious views are damaging. Usher wants them to change, but deep down, he knows that they can't. So I'm left with three questions, right? These are the three questions that were running through my mind while watching the show. Is there a point to changing oneself? Is change worth it? Or is it even real? Are we all stuck in an illusion of change with no real escape? The show doesn't offer a solution or an answer, I should say rather, to the audience, but Usher does discover an answer to his problem. And I'm not gonna tell you what the answer is because I want y'all to see the show. <laughs> I love this production. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. When I started this video, I told y'all that if there was one show that you asked me you had to see right now, my answer would be a strange loop. There's a reason for that. It's because it's that good. It is great, it is meta, it is original, it is raw, it is sincere. It is so beautiful. And like, there's no question. It's obvious why the show won a Pulitzer because it's, it's written so beautifully and so well. I think my favorite thing about the show though is just the way the story was structured and the fact that thoughts were being used in order to communicate the story, right? There were moments where I forgot that the thoughts were just that, thoughts. 
completely forgot that they were thoughts. And like, it led me to think, how many times have we altered people in our minds to either fit what we think of them or exaggerate parts that already exist within them all the time and that's why i feel like the show is so interesting and so well done and it got me to thinking that maybe you know obviously usher is totally valid in the way that he thinks you know but maybe his family can change i don't know i don't know that's that's why this show is so crazy because you can watch it and apply it to your own life you know i mean there's always this i as an audience member have this hope that maybe maybe usher they will change but after that major like tyler perry gospel play i don't know some people are just stuck in their ways and what can you do and that's what the question that's that's what that play asks you know can people change can people change i say only if you want to only if they want to and some people don't you know usher has his own thoughts and his own ideas and it's it's really fun to explore and to see usher develop those thoughts with his thoughts on stage that's what makes it beautiful that's what makes it beautiful it's crazy because you know you watch this and you think how could this be a broadway i mean i watched this and i thought how could this be a broadway show i thought that because for me it is one of the most rawest most sincere most black thing i've seen on stage and i just couldn't imagine it being performed for you know generally a white audience because let's face it most Broadway audiences are 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 filled with white people so I just didn't understand how it was made for the stage and to see so many people connect with it it was really interesting it's really interesting it's a lot of fun and I'm happy that people are connecting with it and I'm happy that the show exists because like I said it offers a refreshing point of view that we don't see on stage like how many off the top of your head how many shows have you seen about fat queer black men talking about sincere things going through their minds going through their hearts you don't see that you don't you don't get that point of view and if you do it's very rare so to see it on a stage like this is incredible and it's so 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 needed it's so important it's and even besides the fact that it's important it's just a great show overall you know like i can i can see some people saying well you have to see the show because it's important yes it's important and it's a great show it's like both hand in hand you know they go they go together if you don't want to think of the deeper meaning of the show yeah you don't want to think about that go because the show is that good the production is that good the songs are that good everything about it it's fun it's fresh go see it for that either way i don't see no reason for you not to go see the show to be real with you so yeah that's that's my that's my thoughts on a strange loop it is an incredibly raw powerful story on broadway that i think everyone needs to see especially if you're black go watch a strange loop and um yeah that's it I, I i really hope that i was able to communicate how much i loved the show like i was cheesing the entire time during this video but um yeah man i i just really like the show i think it's really good and it just left me wanting more and it left me wanting to go up and hug usher <laughs> like uh, usher i want to hug you man i want to hug you i know a hug is not going to solve everything but please let me hold you anyway in the comments below what are your thoughts on a strange loop what are your thoughts um i want to know them have you seen a strange loop what did you think and are you in a strange loop of your own let me know and as always thanks for watching